Nothing to say? No huffy denials? No witty British comebacks? God, how could you have done this to me? The two people I completely gave my heart to and you betrayed me. Greenlee, you don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. Graphically. Greenlee, I don't know what you heard. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. You two kept your little secret. My father's the one who told me. Jack, I'm, I'm sorry to do this to you, Zach, but while you and I were lying half dead down in that bomb shelter, that is when it happened, right? Greenlee, Greenlee, I'll take stop. that as a yes. While we were down there dying, these two were so worried, so concerned about us that the, 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 the thing that they decided to do to keep their minds off of us was to jump into bed with each other. Oh, my God. You knew. I was the only one. The only one who didn't know. <laughs> all of you. You've all kept this from me. Not to hurt me. <laughs> Not to hurt me. The man who I thought loved me. Granny, and my best you. friend decided that since Zach and I were away, they might as well have some fun between the no, sheets. No, that's not how it was at all. We, we thought that you both were dead. Oh, that makes me feel so much better, Kendall. What was it? A couple seconds of mourning and then bang, take me, Aiden. I'm yours, you bitch. It's all been lies. Greeny, I love you and Why that's you not... Shut up. Lies. Come here, look at me. Come here. I thought you were gone. Okay? Kendall thought Zach was gone. Our hearts were broken with grief. Okay, it was stupid. And it was wrong. And we've regretted it ever since. Zach and I thought we were going to die. Down the middle. We thought we'd never see you and Kendall again. The difference was, we really loved you. So we didn't do anything but comfort each other. <laughs> stupid, huh? We should have done it. Well, you know what? It's not too late. Come on, Zach. Let's show him how it feels. Stop. Let's show him how it feels. Let's do it right here. Right here. Stop. It's enough. It's enough. Where are the kids? 
Tell me I'm not too late. You can still do the right thing, but time is running out for everyone. Where's the wedding reception? Where is it? Where? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> please, um, just, uh, It's urgent. Thank you. Greeny, where did you go? I'm so worried about you. Call me, please. It really doesn't sound like much, but I am. I am deeply sorry. And if I could take it back, I would. I hate you. Please, please, Greenlee, don't let one stupid mistake we may do this to you. You and Aiden, you and I, there's too much good there to throw away Shut because of one stupid nothing. mistake. No, please, 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 listen no. to me. Greenlee, go, go. No. No. God. You told Jack. You think it was a good idea to tell me that? It doesn't matter. He knew. He knew when he sent me over to Sudan. He wanted me to die over there, didn't he? Dad, what are you doing here? I wish you are. I don't know. What about the little local steward? And, and, grand, and your grandmother. She wasn't feeling well, so Stuart took her home. Good, good, good. That, that means they're perfectly safe. Uh, and now I need to get you and JR out of here. Dad, Dad, why are you embarrassing me like this? Uh, where's JR? Dad? How the hell did you get out of Oak Haven? Just get out of my way. You're not welcome here. Tad, Tad. Adam, uh, look, let's not disturb the guests, okay? Why don't you come with me and we'll talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. I want to get... My daughter and my son out of this place. That's what I want. Okay? There's Jesse. He said he'd be back in a minute. Oh, thank God you found it. I just got a call from the Bureau. See, they just found a thumb drive in one of Papel's safe deposit boxes with information about that diamond. That is what he was after all these years. And then it was hidden in the stuffed elephant by John Remington. And then I, when I remembered that your your stepdaughter was walking around with that, with that stuff. Stop, stuff, it. I, Stop it. What are you talking about? Stop I, it! I know who you are. I know what you are. And now, you are going to do exactly what I tell you to do. Two fingers. Very slowly. Take out your gun, drop it, kick it over here. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Now! <laughs> you need to stop thinking I'm stupid. The gun. slip up, huh? You want a list? Well, let me start with this. A little bug. Found in my loft. Not a common model, Robert. The FBI uses it. You really think I wasn't watching you? Huh? It was kind of obvious. A little naive on your part, wouldn't you say? Uh, kind of buddy up to me and my family. I mean, your dad's uncle. And a man can't stand the sight of you. Inviting me to be your partner in the movie business? Why? What? And then there's Cassandra. Who thought somebody was going to her stuff. And felt a little odd that day when she was looking for something. She said she felt... Just a little groggy, like my head's in a bubble. Very familiar feeling. I remember that feeling after every interrogation you put me through. What's the name of that drug, Robert? It was the Russian stuff, SP-17. Only the best for Papel. killer right here. <laughs> 